Hi guys, this is Alicia from WorkersOnBoard.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to copy and paste or put ads into your own blog or website. What I'm going to do right now is go to Blogger.com. Now this is a website where you can create your own free blog. Now you can put ads in any blog or website that you have, even if you use WordPress or anything like that. But for this video tutorial, the same technique can be applied. But for this video tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it through Blogger. So I'm going to go into that and click on that link to go inside Blogger. Now I have a dummy blog set up just to show you guys how to do this. So I'm going to go over and put my cursor where it says more options and click that on and I'm going to scroll down to go into the layout portion of the blog the layout is kind of like the structure of your blog or the bones of your blog and depending upon what kind of template you have it will be designed in different ways the structure may or the layout may be set up in different ways like this one for example you see where you can where the headers up at the top and if you go down you'll see where it says add a gadget and then there's where your blog post your blog post will go over here in the in the middle section and then if we go down some we see on the right section you can add different gadgets and then there are features at the bottom as well so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top right here where it says add a gadget and we're going to click on this link and it's going to show us some different features that we can incorporate or include inside our blog now right here where it says AdSense passed it up, I'm going to go back up a little bit guys see this blue plus button, we're going to click that on now if you already have a Google AdSense account or if you signed up for a Google AdSense account already Blogger is integrated in with Google, so they make it really simple, and they already have your publisher ID incorporated within here, so when the ads show up, you will get credited for that when someone clicks on those, those ads, but all you need to do here is basically just, if you want to, you can change the size of your blog or the look of your blog or even the colors of your blog. Now, the very top four ones at the beginning are the recommended ad units, and that's probably because they get the more click-through rates. So right now, it is at 300 by 250 size. So what I'm just going to do is go down and click on the 728 by 90 liter board, and you're going to see how it does change. And so what we're going to do is I'm just going to X out of that. When you click save the bottom, and you can do that. When you click that, then it'll say that that element has been added, and we see it right here. Now I'm going to go into here and click on add a gadget again, and I'm going to scroll down past the AdSense that I showed you a minute ago and I'm going to click on HTML JavaScript now this is where you want to go every single time you want to add an advertisement to your blogger website so we're going to click that on and where it says con the content box right here below that's where you want to put your cursor so now let's go out and let's go get an ad to put right there so I'm going to go to Commission Junction now this is an affiliate company that you can sign up for for free for a publisher account to get ads that are relevant to your blogger website and use there to put in your blog they have a lot of different advertisers for, me, for you to choose from here and it only takes a couple of days or so for you to get approved and so I'm going to go down and there's like see a lot of different advertisers over here like Boost Mobile and new ones that they have, different ones that they have that you can choose from. But it would be good if you could choose 
ads that will probably be related to your blog or site. So I'm going to go into my advertisers and I'm just going to click on the card store. And we're going to press go. And now it shows us that we could either get all products or it says text links or banner. And a text link would look something like this right here. Like it says the card store would be a live link where if someone would were to click on it, then that would take them to their website. And then if they make a purchase, you would get credit for that. And it may say something like the text link could say something uh, similar to maybe say buy one card, get one free, or whatever the different text link acts that they have out there. But for this video tutorial, we're just going to click on banner. And it's going to bring up a variety of different ads, and it's going to show you what they will look like when they go in the blog. So I'm going to scroll down. You see there's a lot of different kinds of ads you could put. Whatever you Pick ones that you think that would benefit your blog readers the most. And there's even a second page if you want to go and look at those different ads. But I'm going to get this ad right here. So what I'm going to do is click on the Get HTML button. And I'm going to click that on. And it's going to show you exactly what the ad will look like on your blog. Now I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to make this bigger so I can scroll, scroll all the way down and you can see it on the screen. And I'm going to click Highlight Code. After you do that, on your computer, you're going to click Control C. We're going to go out. We're going to go back to Blogger. And where the content box is, we're going to put Control B. going to make it bigger so you guys can see. We're going to press save. Go back to blogger. Let's X out of here. Go back to blogger. And we're going to view our blog to see if it's out here. Okay. So, here's our ad right here it we put it in there and there you can see where it's been added now what we can also do is go back to the blogger dashboard and this is again like I said the structure of the bones of your blog it's the layout feature so for this you can move move that ad in different places you can move it you can move it up I'm doing this with my finger, so it's kind of tricky. You can move it up. You can move it down. You can adjust it. You can move it wherever you think it will get the most benefit inside of your blog. You could either move it to the right-hand side. It just depends. You'll have to play around with it and, and see and adjust it as time goes on. But it's a, a really nice feature, another way for you guys to earn money from your blog. And when you go to make a new post, to put content right here it says create new post and because I didn't save that arrangement let's just save that because it's telling me that if I don't save it that that feature won't be added so we'll save it when you go to make a new post you click on that icon Give that post a title, whatever it is you're going to be talking about for that day. Maybe you want to talk about, you know, a, a recipe that you're going to make, or like maybe a chili recipe. Maybe you have a, a recipe blog or something like that, and maybe it could be a quick chi chili, excuse me, quick chili recipe. And then you put your content right here. <coughs> excuse me. You can also add images to that post right here and it's on compose and you can also add ads to that post by just simply clicking HTML and what you would do is wherever you want that ad to go either in the beginning of your content or after your content you're just going to go back and do the same thing that I showed you guys earlier 
You're going to copy and paste. You're going to go and get that code. And then you're going to put the cursor where you want it to be, Control V. And then when you're ready to put your content back in there, then you'll put Compose. Or you can either do your content first and then go back and add your ads. And then when you get finished, you want to make sure that you label that post. So if it is about recipes or about cooking, you put cooking recipes or whatever it is. Make sure you do that. That's very important for the search engines to pick up that, that post that you just made. And then you can preview it. And then press save after you're done. And also publish if you like how it looks. So I wanted to show you guys that because this is another way for you guys to be able to earn money from your blog or website. And so it's really simple and once you do it a few times, you'll be a pro at it. Now I'm going to be posting some brand new work at home jobs on my website today on the weekly job section of workersonboard.com. Make sure you guys come and look at that. I'll be doing that in a few hours. So Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that and share it with your friends, and make sure you check out for my next video. Thanks for watching.